Hello, traders, and welcome to TradingWithBill.com. It's a Thursday, the 21st of June. Good to be with you. I'm in Thailand, and um, it's a beautiful day out there. I will be doing lunch on the beach today. I 100% guarantee you that. I might even be late for London, but I'm going to the beach today. It is cool. It's beautiful. The sun is out. Oh, and it's only 6.37 in the morning. It doesn't get no better than that. You're probably saying, Bill, why are you talking so much? We got work to do. You're right, but there's nothing to talk about. <laughs> These markets are horrible. Oh, my goodness. Oh. Oh. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Did, did you all see yesterday? Was, was yesterday not atrocious? Oh, my gosh. I look at these charts. I'm like, my goodness, just move. Do something. <laughs> All right, what's going on, my friends? Good to be back. We uh, we had some data come out, GDP out of the Kiwi today, uh, within expectations, 0 0.5 versus 0 0.5. Um, Aussie, it's low impact, but RBA bulletin comes out today. Keep an eye on the Aussie. You know, Aussie is so bearish. It's, like, unbelievable. But they want that. So, you know, understand, the Aussies are not angry that their, their currency pair is going down. Remember... Australia wants their currency at 67 or 68 like it was three years ago. They don't want it in that high 70s stuff. They don't like that. They don't like that at all. Uh, uh, Swiss National Bank has interest rate decision today and monetary policy um, statement worth, worth looking at. I mean, we, we don't talk about the Swiss. I don't think we talk about it enough, but, you know, there are a lot of trades in the Swiss. And we should, I think we should watch it more. Um, but, you know, it is what it is. And then, of course, they have a uh, press conference later on as we move along. Uh, German Bupa President Wiedermann speaks. Um, then we've got uh, Bank of England MPC vote cut, vote hike, uh, vote unchanged. Does anybody know what that means? I have no idea. Uh, Bank of England QE total. Okay, I got that one. And then interest rate decision. I don't think they're going to do anything with their interest rates and the condition they're in. Oh, my goodness. Can you imagine if they turned around and raised interest rates 0.25 basis points? <laughs> That'll rattle the markets. <laughs> Going to U.S. session, we have uh, Philadelphia Fed Manufacturing Index. And also, of course, an issue of jobless claims. Philly Fed Employment Philly Fed new orders today. Out of Canada, we have whole, wholesale sales today. And, uh, yeah, that's like that wraps set up. You know what? That's really early. Let me, uh, let me just peek over here and see what is going on tomorrow in Asia because that just looks really early to me. Um... BOE Governor Carney speaks today. That'll be right about the market close in the U.S. So I'm glad I moved that over and took a look at that. Early in Asia tomorrow, um, we have National Core CPI. So just keep an eye on that early if you're in Asia like I am, bright and early. I just keep getting earlier and earlier. I mean, you know, who starts my thing at 6.32 in the morning? <laughs> Let's take a look at what's going on. In the U.S. markets, folks, I know this chart is small, but for me to resize it, it's really a pain. So I understand it's small, but the, the purpose, we're not trading off these charts. This is just something we want to look at, right? So oil, let's talk about oil. Oil's not done nothing, folks. Oil maintains that 65.46 area. It's really not doing a lot. So, you know, it's staying in that range. It really hasn't moved. Let's talk about the VIX. Now, the VIX has come down. The VIX is at 12.79. Remember, you uh, Yesterday, we're just at 13, came back down. But it's staying in that range. It hasn't really dumped below that. So the VIX is just maintaining that 12.5 that 12 12 to that 13 area, and we're going we're gonna to hang there. Interesting to see what's going to happen in July. I have to be honest with you. You know, we really don't want to see too much lower. We don't want to get back to 9s, 7s, and 8s like we did last year. But, you know, it, it could happen, but we'll see. But my little indicator down here, this is a DNA indicator. I wish I remember the guy's last name, but 2008, this guy Dave put this DNA indicated down here. All I'm interested in is this blue line. There's actually two blue lines, but you can't see it. But this blue line is what I'm looking for, and that gives you basically what the direction is going to be. It has nothing to do with the, 
the personal pivot point arrow. Those personal pivot point arrows usually come out before the candle. So so you're getting that alert earlier. But this says it's going to the upside. Who knows? <laughs> it's only an arrow. <laughs> Gold is dumping. We are at 130. 120 uh, 26 on gold. The ES is a hanging bit again sideways. I, just to make a note on on um, the E minis, uh, the ESs. You know we're now at one two three four five six. Well, the seventh day that we have not made a higher high in this pair. We've got some green candles, but we haven't taken out the high of that last red candle. So we're still wiggling in this thing to the downside, but really not doing anything. Really not doing a thing. So we're going to keep doing this. I, I think this is a, a good thing to do. And uh, of course, let's do it. Let's get to the charts. That's what we're here for. Uh, we can get rid of this thing. What do you think? Get rid of this thing? Anybody think I'm crazy? I'm really starting to like these white charts. Oh my goodness. I mean, you know... You know, I, I started off today with, like, what is going on? Like, no movement. I, do I have to make any more points here? Like, 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 look at this. So I was at my chart, by the way, when this little move here happened, right? This was in London session. So this thing spikes. Uh, well, actually, it doesn't even spike it. It goes above this 55 exponential moving average. And I'm, like, excited. I'm like, hey, you know, I might look good tomorrow on my video. It might go to the 200 and bounce and come back down, which was our trade plan. <laughs> yeah, okay. I walked away, got a cup of, you know what, coffee, and I come back, and what happens? <laughs> it's below it. It's got a red candle. <laughs> I sat down uh, in front of my charts and uh, had my long face on. <laughs> That's a Thailand thing, by the way. When, when, people, when ties get mad at you, they put these long faces on. It's pretty funny. But they call it long faces, so I have my long face on here at Tyler. <laughs> so what are you going to do here? Not a flubbing thing. <laughs> We're not going to do nothing here. Hey, what are we going to do here? Come on, William. What are you going to do here? Nothing. 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 This um, 1644, you know, all right, talk to me. <laughs> Other than that, don't talk to me. We still got a little mode down here. And, you know, I'm not... I'm not against this um, to the upside here. I'm really not. Um, but and there's a good chance it's probably getting it down there, right? Uh, but we'll see. I, you know, I want to see this come back up here. Like we got to get out of this mess. See, left of the chart here is an absolute mess. So I'm surprised nobody caught on with these numbers on these candles here, because. They're actually not highs and lows of a move, right? It's not a high or a low. What they are, folks, is they're actually pivot point numbers. Um, they're actually highs and lows of pivot points. And that's, that's what those, those numbers are, by the way. I, I, I don't think I ever said that, but that's what it is. Because you'll find, like, right, you know, this um, 1595 is the same price as this one over here. This might be... You know, 1594, but, but the, you know, this came out. So, yeah, these are pivot point numbers, believe it or not. So what are we going to do here on the euro? Absolutely nothing. Please, um, do something. Something. <laughs> uh, as my friends would say, stop yelling like from, you're from the Bronx or something. <laughs> unbelievable. Really unbelievable. All right. Um. So I was dazzling around this morning before the sun even thought about coming out. And I was looking at this New Zealand cat, and I, I like this New Zealand cat. I thought this was pretty interesting. One, movement, up and down, movement, show me movement, and I'm in it, right? I like movement, right? So this looks pretty decent to me. I, 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 really, I, I really thought that this was a, a, uh, a good thing. Right? I thought this was a good thing, and I don't, I don't necessarily think that's probably where I want to do that. But it's an option because I don't think we're going to get up to here, right? I don't think I don't think we're going to come up to here in the next day or so. Come on now, play nice, thank you. Um, you know, I don't think we're going to come up to there. You know, that's where we'd want to go. But do I think this is going to come all the way back up to 9,100? 
from 90. Do I think this is going to move 50 pips to the upside? Meaning Kiwi strength? Nah, I don't think so. If we can get to this 200, you know, sometimes we do look at everything technically, but sometimes you got to think like, well, we're talking about strength, cat strength, New Zealand strength. What's stronger? Of course, the cat is stronger. Um, but, you know, if we can get to this 200, a little confluence there, right? Got to 55, 200. You know, we could sell it from there. That looks like, that looks decent to me. That looks like a good idea, right? We just sell it from there. So that I thought was pretty interesting. Um, being that I uh, talked about it, we might as well take a look at it. Well, we're going to take a look at the, um, the CAD Swiss. Folks, I got to be honest with you. You know, I love doing these videos because it really probably helps me while it helps anybody else. But trying to find something out there <laughs> is hard. <laughs> This is just not an easy time uh, in Forex. Actually, the the New York session is more, as far as options goes, is a lot of fun because there's movement. You know, oil came up yesterday, I think it was 70 cents, in, in, like within a half hour, the, the New York market's opening. I mean, it was fun. It was interesting. It was moving, right? So here we go. This, look, again, down, down, down. The only thing that gives me a little bit of hope, a little bit of hope, is that these moving averages are just really tied together here. And this might look like maybe this is an exhaustion level, right? I won't use that. I won't use that term that we hope, but, you know, support. Um, but, you know, this looks like an exhaustion level. This just looks like to me like we want to we want to take this to the other side. And, you know, as my friend in Thailand says, Jenny said, well, I'm looking for my double bottom. I'm going to take this to the upside. Um and uh, he's, he's really a great friend. And he's a, he's a scalper, though, boy. I'll tell you what. A man can scalp. Uh, so, yeah. So, you know, let's look at that. Right? So, 73.30, 73.40. Expect an overshoot. When I talk about a number, realize it's, a, it's an area. I'm not looking for that specific number. Of course, unless I'm putting in a market order. Uh, I mean, a, um, a limit order. Right? Unless I'm putting in an order. That's going to happen later on. But when I talk about it here, I'm talking about an area. Most stuff's going to overshoot, right? We, we know that. We get lucky it does not it works, but I always expect an overshoot. So what, what are you saying now? Well, that's at 73.30. Well, this is 74.85. you got to get through that 75 area, right? 75.30. you got to get through the 75 area. What do you think? You're going to be brave? Hey, listen, folks. You know, we're just trying to make some pips. <laughs> yeah, we're not we're not we're not paying the uh, we're not paying the uh, bills. Looking at these crazy markets going sideways. But like I said yesterday, you know, these things moving off these moving averages and taking trades off these moving averages. I mean, just to be really small here, right? This comes up, right? Boom, right? Overshoots seventy five thirty five. Boom, all the way back down. Comes all the way back down to the support line I just put in there, right? You know, this is the way it is. You know, this is, you know, getting, you know, nice pullbacks isn't happening, right? So, hey, that's what it is. All right, that's it for me. Enough with my jabbering for on, <laughs> on a Thursday. But I know you'll miss me because, you know, I don't do a video on Friday. And uh, so, yeah, our... Uh, Dollar index, 94.78. Yeah, 94.78 on the dollar index. Moved up a little bit, uh, not much, but it is starting to move up there a little bit. Um, so we'll just keep an eye on that. All righty? All right. Um, that's it. Hey, have a great weekend. Enjoy your weekend break. Take a break. Have a good time. I always do Forex homework on a Sunday. Traders, always remember to trade smart, not hard. Have a great weekend. We'll see you on Monday morning, bright and early in Asia. Take care, my friends. See you next time. Bye-bye.